hello everyone and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> and we're going to be talking about planes trains automobiles okay planes trains and automobiles and i'm not talking about the movie <laughs> i'm not talking about the movie guys lord have mercy we talking about fallon out here winning 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 fallon pena okay and this is going to be another episode of why you telling my business don't be telling my business why because i can can and i can 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 i can can and I will child po uh portion i got gifted re-gifted i don't know i really don't know okay it's too much to absorb at one time and i'm still trying to get well but you know when a story i like i gotta bring it to the forefront and this lady she has nothing but class alludes from her very uh very much so dna it alludes from her pores because she had him was with him and discarded him and left him for portia her leftovers if you might say all right it ain't nothing new that portia's doing out here that she hadn't already did and gave it to her or any other woman that wanted it okay because she tried to keep her marriage intact but what does Edgar do he went and divorced her all right not saying she didn't have no infractions on her but they just want to elevate it to the press and she's always known of looking like class money <laughs> okay the rubbing heads with the big dogs and she's always had her share of luxury automobiles but this particular automobile as you can see it's being broadcasted because they feel like Simon regifted something that he may or may not have given Fallon his ex-wife. Now Fallon's no stranger to nice things because she had nice things prior. She uh, meeting Simon and Simon just kept her in the lap of luxury as well because he saw her as nothing but classy, nice body, and exotic looking. Yes, welcome to the life of Fallon Pena okay get it she got rid of the trash which was gabadia and she got with a hit maker all right which is her husband Jalen, or soon to be husband hell i can't even keep up but like i said balance is not she is not not used to having the finer things in life she's had the plane rides she's had the beautiful homes definitely had her had her share of cars okay so what could Portia demand from her? Ain't that look like a powerful woman sitting up there knowing where she's at, where she's going, and who she's going to be with? Ooh, that's power right now. When you just look at a person and say, ooh, now that's a boss chick, okay? And she's serving, serving. Every time you see her, she's serving, serving. She ain't nothing but face, fashion, and fun. Did I give y'all that three L's? Let's say it again. Fashion, face, fun and fun all right it is see that's what simon missed he wanted that limelight tried to get it on real housewives of Atlanta, but i still don't understand why does he want to be a part of that culture that reality culture that's nothing but foolery fakery fuckery and foolishness i don't understand but he loved himself some fallon okay you could just tell he was just oh enamored and as well as intoxicated but guess what? Fallon's sis, uh, sister came in and swooped her up. Now, this is the car that is a Rolls Royce that they said Gabadi gave to her. And that shit look good as hell, don't it? Oh, it's like you just lip it up, drink it, and swallow it whole. That is a beautiful car. And she picked the right accent color. And she even tried to match with it. Y'all see them light, uh, light blue Nikes? And she was kind of giving her sexy gangster lean. It's, 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 it's powerful when a woman can be in gangster clothes and still look sexy. And not look tomboyish or, you know, kind of looking like a man with it or whatnot. <coughs> that girl still showed. Whoo, I might even get my truck painted that color when I get tired of it being black. But this little helpful right here. Don't she look like a drug dealer girlfriend? or some low class some wannabe or whatever i don't know how portia was winning and she came up on the ending stick the end stick of things meaning negative now why would yo 
boyfriend okay give you a car similar the same car or a look alike however y'all want to see it why would he give you something that he know he had given his ex-wife okay and let's emphasize on the part Portia's the girlfriend Fallon was the wife you see how that plays a big part wife versus what you call it see what I'm saying isn't that looking cute she gotta remind me of little Leah or whatnot. You could be look tomboyish, but still look sexy as hell. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what she's serving me. Class, 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 class. With a little tomboyish on the side. But Portia, child. Tomboyish, wild, and ready to fight all the time. You see, that's what we giving us. That's what she giving us. With a little mommy tease when it's like up from the neck up. All right. But I'm like. Girl, what are you doing? She kind of looked like, uh, what's her name? Drew Sedora from that back angle and that side pose. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And then she want to make sure that ring is shown, that how that new house they're supposed to be in is shown, and that uh, car. And I'm like, you still losing, Portia. You ain't winning because all that shit fell on the house. She don't had the car. She don't had the man. She don't had the planes. She don't had, well, if, if, if. Uh, somehow Kabadi could have got her her own train and her own uh, executive plane or her little baby jet charter jet whatever Portia would have been one there too so good for you Portia if you're trying to be a lookalike okay if you're trying to be a doppelganger if you're trying to be second class good for you you achieved that royally from this man who's not even your husband girl don't you know community property i mean all the gifts that he is giving you okay all the luxurious gifts dennis could have gave you as well might have took him a little longer but he would have given it to you if you just would have had you know a little bit more patience a little bit more time or hell better yet you could have gave it to your own damn self but that other rose royce that you were sporting around said it came from another african man okay so you mean to tell me all this lap of luxury you got to get from me and you can't get it from yourself and now you're mad because your boyfriend that you had the baby by wanting to take steps against you to secure his uh, daughter's future you mad at him you should be mad at your boyfriend Simon for going over there starting shit with aunt liz talking about we need to respect you no he needed respect auntie liz and then her kids and then portia that's how this shit go okay but it is is what it is and i'm glad dennis is kissing your ass goodbye he know he can't do nothing else with you. You are lost cause. And he has to secure his future for his daughter. So if you're looking at this video, Dennis, go get your custody papers because this is a lost cause. You can't catch up. You can't play catch up with uh, Portia or her family members because they are what they are. They, who, they are who they are. But do like Fallon. Drop Portia. Ain't going to get you somebody else that you can make more babies with and more happiness, okay? And that's going to appreciate you, Dennis. That's going to appreciate you because this girl is in a twilight zone. She don't know if she love you. She love Simon. She thinks she love you. Then she, she just don't know that you're somebody she can bet on. It's crazy. And then she can't stand your mama. You know what I'm saying? And even if you go on and try to, you know, not pay attention to it, it's still going to be there for you to partake of in your mind. And when she do you wrong, you're going to be like, well, damn, you don't like my mama. You don't respect me. You don't like nothing I'm trying to give you. You just want that rich and famous life. And whoever can give it to you, you're going to be the first bid to jump shield. So F you. Okay. F you. F you. F you. F you. F you. And my Jamie Foxx voice. Okay. But this man ain't, you know, he loved uh, Fallon. And he gonna probably always love her to the day he die. And nine times out of ten, quite as kept lies I'm gonna speak it out. He probably was hollering her name when y'all was asleep. Thinking he was getting it in with Fallon. You thought he was thinking about you? He was thinking about Fallon, girl. You know how we all have those nightmares. Well, don't, not, not necessarily nightmares, but those, those sexual dreams we have. And we be calling out the names, you know when we're asleep and we don't know we doing that pillow talk thing Portia probably already heard you 
But see, one thing, fella ain't got a we ain't heard of. She ain't got no family drama going on. She ain't had no special where it just made her and her family look stupid. That's all you. But I'm pretty sure if she could have had her own bus, her own train, okay, Simon would buy that or would have bought it for her if she wanted it maybe. And then you would have tried to copy paste that into your life. You would want it a, 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 a souped out, a tricked out bus that some of these entertainers be using to get to city to city. And then you would have wanted that train. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we got my planes, trains, and automobiles, honey. I'm like, keep up, Portia, keep up. Because you're losing. You're balling backwards, baby. You're thinking backwards. Who is like you need to go back in your mother's womb and be born again? Because you just don't get it. And you're not going to get it. But, y'all, I just had to do that video, that comparison and, and stuff. Because I don't understand why Portia continues to let her boyfriend soup her up the way he doing and he can take all this shit back from her because they're not married okay anything that was getting a given before marriage can easily be erased taken back um indian gift however you want to see it and it's not community property because they didn't get it after the fact after they were married but those who know just like me and my guts feelings and just my intuition i really don't feel Simon finna take uh, Portia to no altar and say I do. And if hypothetically he did, he got the moving van, moving van on deck to remove her. And he's going to get her to sign a prenuptial agreement without any hesitation. He's going to get it done. And anything that he may have promised her prior to, if it's not written in that prenuptial agreement, he's going to renege on Want to tell you why? Because he tried to do it to Fallon, you know, and he did it to his other, th well, two wives before Fallon. The man only cares about himself. So you could be stupidly blind and think that, oh, he's going to take my best interest at heart. Oh, this, that, and the third. No, because he tried to get a baby by Fallon. Didn't work. He said he wanted to implant one in you, Portia. It ain't going to work. Uh, it just is what it is. You're living a life that's not yours. For the real Portia Williams, can she really stand up? Can she really show us what she's working with? Because that's all we want to know. Because all this fake, fraudulent, foolery, fuckery stuff you got going on with all these Instagram pics or this, that, and the third showing you well. Girl, you might be setting yourself up because the IRS and, and folks of the nature and the government, they watch it too. Or people can easily send it to them. And then before we know it, you having tax trouble. Because we know Simon already got some later looking for him for 200 k So why would you get into such mess? And I'm going to stop saying why. I'm just going to just take it for what it is and talk about it if I choose to. Because there's no rational There's no rationalization with you anymore. It's either what Porsche wants, Porsche gets, okay? And it, it ain't no sense of telling you the truth. We'll talk to Dennis before we talk to you about truth anymore. But like I said, stupid is is what stupid does. And this is what is going on in Portia Williams' life. A lot of stupidness, a lot of stupidity, arrogance, and ignorance. Okay? So it just is what it is. Portia, you lose. Fallon, you win. If you just had to put them in a match. But like I said, success, greed, power, jealousy, it breeds in all of us. But does it overflow? Or it's just a little bit that you need to repent for it and move on. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, the strong jealousy, the strong dependence of a man, the need to copycat someone else's life, which is Portia trying to copycat. Fallon's life is a true obsession of Portia. So, Dennis, I tell you, get so custom, baby. Forget about half and half. She don't need to have half and half. Because she can't even get her own personal life right of what she believes Portia is. Who Portia is. Got to go way, 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 way on back. Okay? Because we already know who Fallon is. And she's showing us and serving us each and every day. She'll lose confidence. Even if she don't have confidence on a any given day, you would never know. You would never know, okay? Because she'll lose it every day. It may be her mask or deflection, or it may be her mask or protection. I don't know. 
but it's serving. Because this, this old woman over here, this 40-year-old woman acting like she 20-something. Child, please. And that, look, I don't know what in the back of her trying to, you know, like, ooh, I love you. Ooh, I love you. Yes, I love you. Please make me more uh, entertaining. Please put me out there so I can gain and then get rid of you when I don't need you anymore. Meaning dispose of for sure. Okay, and I'm talking about not in a good way. I mean, he's going to financially break you and the bank that has your name on it. Because let's look at it. You don't have any children by him, but it didn't really matter either way. Because he got five other kids that would be ahead of your kid. You see what I'm saying? If you're talking about royalty and titles and, and, and money, per se. Your child will be the last one. So good. 86, that idea altogether. But you're talking about uh, houses, new home he just purchased. Use some of your money, allegedly, I'm hearing, but yet your name is not on the deed. When he plans on putting it on the deed, or if he ever plans on putting it on the deed. Okay, he's giving you all these wonderful gifts prior to marriage, meaning at any, at any given time, he can ask for it back. Okay, he can ask for the ring back that he gave you. If y'all don't get married, or if somehow you get a spinoff on Bravo of a wedding thing, you're going to want Bravo to pay for everything. So, technically, he's not coming out of anything. He's just picking and choosing what looks right for him and you on camera. And he's going to send the bill to Bravo. But, technically, wasn't he supposed to pay for everything? If With regard to your wedding and all those accessories and all those planned trips for your honeymoon and all that stuff. Child, I don't think I say think, Portia think go in a deep sleep and think about it okay and then come out with an epiphany and, and your own prenup and, and um what you expect from him and if it doesn't uh materialize or whatever then you got to drop her like a bad habit you got to drop them like a bad habit girl you know what i'm saying but you're not that type of a boss you want to play the boss but you can't be the boss all right now it's a shame you and Dennis couldn't make it work. But like I said, Dennis is still sowing his seeds. And it seems like you're still sowing your seeds out there to see what big fish you can catch in that little small pond of entrepreneurs, billionaires that's doing it and doing it well. Okay. I don't know, Portia. It just is what it is in your own words. Okay. From your family retreat that you just partook of. Alright, but that's all I have, guys, for this particular video. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't forget to hit that like button when you come in the house. When you're leaving, hit that subscribe and share the video button. Okay, love you all, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.